Hello guys, I'm Shockwave King. You saw the title of the video. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video. I guess why all Naruto games sucks or something. I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna call this. But my whole gripe is no one can say any Naruto game is the best Naruto game when there haven't been one Naruto game. They actually capture the game, uh, the, the, the fighting or the combat inside Naruto. There just to be one. Not, not, not even one. I argue that uh, Naruto Ninja Storm Impact came close. Besides from that, we got the same rehash, copy and paste fighter. We got uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Kazuki Drive 2.0 with, uh, with Strikers. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's all we got. We got the exact same rehash. I, just I don't even hate these games either. But you can't call like the Storm games fighting games at all. Maybe not like, the first two. Might come close to that, but hey, look, guys, we, we, we have a slight problem with the substitution spam, and sometimes it, it, you, you know, it, when you need a limit on the substitution, putting a limit on the substitution doesn't solve the problem. You can just attach it to the chocolate thing, but uh, screw that. That's just uh, making it a totally separate bar. Is it a bad system? No, but I can't sit here and call it a fighting game. I can't sit here and call it. Oh, it accurately represents the, the the comeback of Naruto, similar to the One Piece game. I'm sorry, in my opinion, Cyber Connect 2 or anybody else who make these anime games that's arena fighters or just lazy with jump force and all. Oh, they put in hard work. Look at the graphics. That, that don't mean nothing. I don't see what's wrong with you people today only caring about graphics. When the graphics make any difference compared to gameplay. This is why most of the gameplay industry is trash now, but it is what it is now. My whole gripe is with the Storm games and everything else is there have been no game that accurately represents the fighting style or the fighting inside of Naruto. There have been none. There's there no type of tactics or anything. You spam everything you got, especially with your assist in this game, and that's pretty much it. Even with Ultimate Ninja, you spam, spam, spam yourself to death, and just and even then, Ultimate Ninja did have some nice little secrets and things you can do here and there, and sure you can bring up the whole uh, Naruto class of Ninja Revolutions, but that was, doesn't really replicate the whole. Hey, look, it's open world. You gotta hop through trees. You gotta plan. You gotta throw out shuriken. And then like you have certain characters, like like you got Gar here, who have all these extra jutsus. But I'm just limited down to one. Not cool in the fact how there's like there's no Shikaku guard in this game. There's no nothing. What makes it even worse is the puppet characters got it the worst. Cause at least with characters like Datara and Kitty Mar, you can spam somebody to death. And at least you can say, ah, oh, you know, they, they threw out a lot of projectiles inside there. When uh, when it was inside the the, the manga or the show and the anime, you can say that. But for the any type of puppet character, a garbage in this game. Because as soon as your puppet get away from you, there's no controlling them with a full on joystick that you can use. There's none of that. There's no type of joystick. As soon as that puppet get away from you, there is no way to call them back. Which could have been an easy, intimate system with no one could complain about. But nope, nope. They released the same rehash garbage. What makes it even worse? They rehashed the same thing and don't even bring back that previously showed up in the previous games which I don't see how that's even possible when you just copy and paste and upgrade the graphics Well, you add in like maybe one two three new characters like 90% of the roster become it came from Storm 3 beside from what Obito, Madara and Kaguya who no one cares about Kaguya which she have an interesting gimmick but since the arena fighter changing the environment doesn't do anything because it doesn't benefit you at all it doesn't. You're just changing the environment, and that's pretty much it. So you might get uh, access to like a few more techniques, but I, I, I can't really say none of these games actually represent any type of fighting comeback from now. Some might say it worked so real with Dragon Ball. That's because with the Arena Fighter and the way they made Budokai and Buu Katenshi games, they did it right for one, and two, not that complicated. You fly around and you punch the other one. That's it. That, 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 that's pretty much it. Naruto have like a lot more tactics, a lot more thinking put into it. And then like you have these endless amount of juices, right? Let's say for Aruchimaru, you choose the full pot version since there there is no full pot Aruchimaru. In any of these games, you're always gonna get the handicap versus four tailed Naruto version of Aruchimaru. We can't get that same one that went against uh the third Okage, oh no sir Bob. We cannot get that, oh no sir Bob. But we can't get the suppressed Aruchimaru, right? Let's say we get a full part with Ruchumaru. What if on multiplayer, right? You can set up this whole chain slick with a Ruchumaru where when you get killed, you can resurrect them back to life. Just like that. Now, sure, will you come back with full health on a full trucker board? No, but if it's like a team based game mode, which I don't see how Shimobi Strikers butchered that terribly, fighting somebody 1v1 in that game. There's, there's no type of combat basis in that game at all, and it's sad when Ocean Ninja Storm Impact have a bit more in-depth combat system than the game that came out literally years later on more powerful hardware. 
This is sad. Oh, we can't add in all those characters. Half of the Budokan turns to three characters with copy and paste and had the same moves. What do you mean you can't add in the characters? And uh, uh, better than that, all that free DLC money, people like to complain how these game developers, they ain't making enough money. Microtransactions, customize the characters, you can't do that, huh? People will pay for skins. As long as you have some good skins by default in the game already. So that's not really a complaint of what they cannot do. In my opinion, it's just lazy. No one to experiment. It's been the exact same thing. My whole graph is Naruto. I don't really care about too many things else. People are all hyped up for Demon Slayer, but it's not like you do too. There's too much going on Demon Slayer as far as I know when it first to action. But who knows? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But for Naruto, there's no type of tactics. Or like for the characters like the Shine Gun. With, with Naruto, with uh, Sasuke and Itachi, there, there you cannot put nobody in any type of Genjutsu at all. It's, it's not existent. It's nowhere to be found. There is no type of advantage of having a Sharon Gun character if the Sharon Gun itself does nothing. It doesn't do anything. At all. And then like, you have certain characters like the Third Hokage who actually have all this laundry list long of Jutsus. And in the game they have none of them. I really have a fewer characters in the game with more in-depth combat than about a good 20 to 30 that's all copy and paste and don't do anything. Especially in puppet characters because they're atrocious. It's whether you're spamming somebody death with moderate, doing the exact same combo at Sasuke and Itachi. It's Or you're getting Rasengan spammed for some kid. It was hilarious. I made some little Jimmy Rage over the microphone. Sure, we, we had some good matches, but I wasn't even, I haven't played the game in months and somehow I'm keeping up with this kid. It's just sad. That is just pitiful. But, uh, it comes down to, like, when you have certain characters, like the third Okage, who have this laundry list of jutsu, and they do none of them. And then you have Kakashi, the copy ninja. You can go against any character of the game. Oh, they, oh you know, he be able to, like, you use a jutsu too many times, he be able to copy it and let it the same thing. Now, certain characters, he won't be able to do the exact same thing. Maybe, like, characters like Gara and somebody else. But m for most people, he be able to copy the jutsu, like Zabiza, like the Rasen guy. And like some other things, right? You, you see, it'd be fairly simple. We use the same animation attack. Nope, none of that. Nope. He's just uh, got the same move set as everybody else. And it's almost like he's playing the exact same character. The only difference is, certain characters have better air combos, and other characters just don't. That's it. There's no point of choosing your favorite character in the game if your favorite character play like trash or play just like everybody else. There's no any type of in-depth tactics. There's no extra jutsu. There's absolutely nothing of nothing. And you're doing the exact same thing over and over again. Dashing towards. Then like you have like another thing probably arena fire is like your environment don't play a role in you winning at all. It just it just doesn't do anything. There's like no type of tactics with that at all. It just there's no type of trees you can dodge behind to get away from somebody ultimate or anything like that. And it blows the tree in half. It's just the exact same thing. And what makes it worse, no one complains about it. Like absolutely nobody. This is this is good enough for most people, which is disturbing. Whereas or you got characters like the first Okage can change the entire environment, just pull off a full chakra ultimate. Maybe with some assist tracker from his side characters, with, with AR, especially a multiplayer, bring up a big ass tree that benefit the entire team would have been excellent. There is so much potential Shinobi strikers that was butchered just because, and guess what? You slopped it up. Well, it wasn't as good as the game as ever. It's still so well. There's still people online, just like how Xenoverse had garbage combat. Terrible hitbox, but how many people bought it? Because, like always, they always buy it. You keep violating this trash. And my other thing is, I want, I, I want a good game. You know, I've been a fan of Naruto for a long period of time. And I just find it concerning how no one, absolutely no one, finds a problem with this whole system where these these aren't these aren't fucking games. You can't sit down next to your friend and, and have some good matches with these damn games. It's just spam, spam, spam. Wait for ultimate. Spam, spam, spam. There's no type of tactic. Like, like Kitty Mar should be a beast. In this entire game, like Kitty Mar with the long range. Especially if you're able to set somebody up, you be able to lay traps for your enemy, everything like that, and they'll try to track you down. And sure, like, maps like this would be very, very detrimental to him. But hey, bring up the giant tarantula, ride on his back, snipe him from the back of the tarantula. You know, you, you have options. But no, it's always the exact same thing, and it's just... I kind of wish it was better. Like, there, there's no Gara Sand Tsunami in this game. There's not even an option to do it, as far as I know. Which I doubt it's in this game. So it's just like, what's the point? What's the point where you, you got the same few ninjutsu moves when the characters should have more than this? 
Itachi should have more than this. Naruto, Jirai. Like you got characters should have more than what they already have in the game. Just by default. And they don't have it. And I'd rather have less characters with more in-depth combat. With more in-depth jutsus. So I can feel like I'm some type of monstrous beast. Then it's just the same usual casual spam. And that's pretty much it. I don't care about the little jimmies. I don't care about any of them. Could they benefit more from a game that I'm thinking of than, than this storm? Because this is not a game. This is what you call uh, not only free marketing, it's uh, cheap money. Because it's the exact same game. They make a few balance changes. They may evolve to come a little bit here and there. But it doesn't feel like I'm inside Naruto. Fighting like a Naruto character would. There is no tactics. There is no strategy. Especially when you should have characters that's obviously faster than the other ones. Not really too much of a difference. The song it is like you got the kids like with Pain and Nagato. How come Pain can't summon one of his uh one of the Sage of Six Paths to bring somebody else back to life? Or if you pan plan as one of those uh, side pains, you could use him to bring your teammates back to life. Or something along those lines. Cause what's the point of having an attack defenses and all that if it, it doesn't do anything in Shinobi Strikers? And in this game, there's no point of adding the rest of the pains because it's not going to do anything. Hey, look, guys, we got the healer and things like this. They don't do nothing in the game. Even though there are characters that can actually do what the, the different classes can do, can do nothing in the game. There's no tactics in Shinobi Strikers. It is spam, 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 spam. And I'm sick of this spam and nonsense because it's just like, it's one thing if I was getting my ass put because of tactics. But this, this, this is not what this is. It's just, I don't, it's not fun to play. At all. Cause then you feel like you're getting your ass ripped because they chose a particular character. And that's bullshit. It was like that in, in multiple games. You go to any old Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. Even MK9. There were characters that were better. They didn't feel like when they chose that character. The game is over. Just like how Budokai Tenshi 3. Everybody knows the infamous tyranny of the... Uh, I mean, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, so it's not like, oh, we've never seen something like this before. This, it's, 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 it's only, it's only Naruto that does this. You, you, you won't call him anybody else. How dare you? It is what it is with that. It really is. Cause you got, there, there's, there's so much things you can actually do in this game with these characters, and they refuse to do them because of pure laziness or company policy, which is just, I feel bad for anybody making these games, to be honest. Because it's just, uh -uh, it's, they're not good games. They're not. And the only reason they sell because of the intellectual property to sell. Oh no, it's not. Marvel Avengers, a garbage game. So, well, just because, and what it comes down to is, I just want a game that accurately reflects the game, uh, the fighting inside of Naruto. That's all I pretty much want. There's no reason I should not have more in-depth gameplay with playing with a character like Sorcery or... Con, it's Con, uh, Gar's brother. I forgot his name. It's, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Conjuro, whatever his name is. There's no reason I should have more in-depth gameplay. Why can't I move Conjuro and move the puppet around with the two joysticks? The joystick don't do nothing besides tag team in this game, and that's it. So when you go on 1v1, you're not doing nothing. And some might say, oh, then if they had a sis in that game, you would have been able to do anything. Yes, you would. You got four D-pad buttons, which most people don't even use, that don't do anything specific. It is a waste of time. I can throw these all out, do some minimum damage, and it don't do anything. We can easily add in the system, a limit number of shurikens, add in the, the classic Naruto Demon Win, or like you have like part one Sasuke with the string. You have all these options potentials, especially how the environment can give you advantage in battle. I'd rather have a game like that paced off of part one than have anything to do with Shippuden. It's not because of the whole fourth great ninja war or plotline this and that. And the aliens, man, no, it just has to do with if I could get less characters in a better game, I would take it and just take anything else as season pass or DLC. Not cool the fact you just add microtransaction or you want you to have bitch, uh, this, this, this casual Hawaiian shirt guy, you can get it. Just gonna have reasonable microtransactions, and it should take away, like, say, the multiple, like, different costume guards have inside the actual show. There is no reason, unless it's like some type of movie type thing, it should be not in the game, it should be held up for DLC. I don't care about your money or your terrible policies, <sighs> but it is what it is. That 
I'm glad I have it went ballistic that to keep my blood pressure down, but it's just one of those things where it's it's sad how this is the type of entertainment we got. Cause it's one thing to do with this one punch man, cause like the whole one punch man game I was thinking of, cause like, there's no reason to say Tama gameplay. Especially doing story mode should put like any other character. Especially with the whole Boros fight. But he just plays like every other character and that's it. There's like no special cutscenes, there's there's no nothing. It's like what did all the budget go for this game? And the worst part about it, they put two dollars into the making the game and they make all this extra money. Like like what is this? At least when I used to do these with movies, they'll actually make a decent movie. No matter how cheap it looked. But now just throwing the thing on the screen, people will buy it. And it's not one of those back in my day, because still open ninja. All the storm games, there have been one game that actually uh, represented or actually captured the fighting inside of uh, Naruto. None of them. None of them at all. Because the fourth great ninja war thing, it, it, you might have to bring that back. So there will be too many people on the battlefield for that, especially towards the end. We can't have about eight people go against Madara Chiha. That's, that's, that, would, that would be... Mm, that that, mm, that that would just be nasty right there. But uh, in my case... It's more or less one of those things where I just want a better game. I really do just want a better game because you have like they like you could have like a suicidal third Hokage ripping out people's souls on online multiplayer, or with 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 the B Savage hey dog, you gonna pray the Lord like seriously just to troll somebody or joke around for an online video? We gonna try to force people to join the Lord Jashin? You will come into the holy church of Lord Jashin and you will pray to me. You will pray to your knees. You will pray to Lord Jashin. And then another thing is. Like they have a let like have an online hub for Shinobi Strikers. Even though we already seen like the whole main hub from uh, Naruto Storm War, so you expect oh you know you would just be able to hop around, you know, swing over some stuff, be able to get some basic Nope, nope, nope. There's none of that. Just just one small hub area. That's all you got. It makes you question what most of the budget come from this, in this game when it still looks like uh, Shinobi. Uh, 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 Naruto. <laughs> it still looks like Naruto Ultimate Ninja K Kazumi Drive from the PSP. And somebody say, how do you know about that game? I've, t I've tortured... Y'all don't understand. Unlike most people who was able to pick up games day one, I was living the lifestyle of playing free games and demos. Alright, that, that, that's where I was. So before the days of the PS3, I had demos and that was it. That's, that's all you got. I had demos, demos, demos when I couldn't buy a game. And I would pray to get a PlayStation card. So it's just like, I'm sorry I'm not one of the more fortunate people of society. But it is what it is. Maybe that's why I put more value to things than others. But it's one of those things. Why can I get a good game that accurately represents the gameplay? I'll take any error. Because doing it with Dragon Ball is not really that hard. Unless you want to go with some deep tactical stuff. Which I can push it to the limit. You can go all out. But unlike most people the whole. I want a Fighter Z. Why? I don't want 3v3 um, um, gameplay. I'm, I'm sick of that. Why does every fighting game got to be 3v3? What's the point? You you can't get any in-depth characters in any of them. And then like, there's no 1v1 option inside Fighter Z. So what's the damn point? They're just made for it and that's it. Is it a bad game? No. Is it a good Dragon Ball game? Yes. But I don't see why every game got to be 3v3. What's the fucking point? Like seriously. Before you can just spam a bunch of shit on the screen, you can't see shit. And that's, that's that. No, they always turn look like that. At least Marvel. Uh, at least with Marvel vs. Capcom, it was a fun novelty. Everything else is just a bunch of shit on the screen, spam sis, bunch of shit on the screen, spam sis. And it doesn't mean no those are bad games either. It just it's just not my type of style of game, in my opinion. But I just can't see why. I can't get an accurate Naruto game. And the worst part about it, this game I'm speaking of would never come out, so. It is sad. It is sad, nonetheless, that we can't get what we deserve to. You know, you buy manga volumes, do all of this, you support your favorite series, and they just treat you like trash, and like you're nothing but a walking piggy bank. Even though it's just, uh. I thought you'd be better than this, you know, I. 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 I, I and it's just like. If I was going to like create a game for my series or something, I'll actually show up. You know, if you want to read the story, go by the, the canon material. I, I want to be there. For it won't be no, oh, this and that, the Mr. and this and that. And, you know, we discuss what we got to cut out. 
what we got to put in and then do this and that. But he was working on the manga chapter by chapter. You can take a break. You can take a break. I don't want to hear that shit. Because you, you don't complain to the anime department when there's a death in the anime. So I'm not trying to hear that bullshit. So. What about them? I would have done the endless filler, huh? But it is what it is with that. All I got to say is, I, I just hope that eventually, one day, one day, I'll be able to properly get that Naruto game that accurately represents the game I'm playing. Like, easily. Now, with Sorcery, you could easily push Sorcery to the limit the whole third Kaji Kage and his puppets. It could easily be a character where at least one of his extended items should be able to poison your opponent. But it's not. There's no risk with getting hit with the third Kaji Kage. There is no releasing of any type of poisons. There is absolutely nothing of nothing, even though Sorcery have all these abilities. Why not? And why come every most of, 90 percent of the characters who actually have some extra items in the D-pad have the exact same stuff with the other person? What's the point? What's the point? And now that I think about it, most of this stuff just comes from Ultimate Ninja anyway, so it's still copy and paste. Ugh. It is what it is, cause cause it will never change, and people just don't care. So it's never going to fix the problem. So eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to do it myself. And make a game with my own series. And that'll be it. Because they're not going to ever learn. If there's something, oh, we don't support the games. We won't, we won't get anything better. Really? That's some, that's some, that, that's that uh, mentally disturbed 2K fans logic. Where you, we're going to keep buying the game even though it's trash. Oh, but they, but they, but they, they're going to fix 2K20 with the wrestling. Are they? Are they? Or are they just going to release a less buggy product? I don't see where this conception comes from, where it's just like, somehow it's supposed to be all, they, they finally learned their lesson, they already know you're going to buy the game the next year. So, I don't see why this whole, hey, they're going to fix the game, they're going to fix the game. <laughs> ah, I wish, I wish, I wish I can be just as optimistic as you. <sighs> I wish. And then there's a 3v3, but everybody got the same health bar. Everybody, those type of in-depth techniques or nothing. And the Storm game's been like this for for a long time. And you've seen multiple people rage out over the system and everything. It's just, no, no, no one asked for a different type of Naruto game. They just want the exact same thing. Because Shinobi Strikers actually could have went somewhere. It could have been what Naruto Online could have been. Could have had a proper hub world. Maybe the Leaf Village, Sand Village, and... Maybe what some other maybe like the hidden cloud village like they have like, their own open worlds and hub worlds you can go around and get some missions or you can fool around the online multiplayer and actually have a system actually allow characters to be able to get the rent gun actually allow characters to be able to pull off ninjutsu with shine guns and not just it just sits there not just it just doesn't do anything but it, it's just uh, it is what it is because no one wants the game I'm talking about they just don't. They'll easily sit there and accept the Naruto and uh, Shinobi Strikers, Naruto Ultimate Ninja, and that's it. But I don't see how people can get excited for playing the same game. Did they not learn from the One Punch Man game? Did they not learn from One Piece Burning Blood? Which, I don't think they even implemented hockey correctly in that game. Or pushed the system to a limit like they could. But why try anything new when it's a guaranteed buy? Why? You think they lost any money with that One Punch Man game? You think they cared that you released them bad reviews about that game? You think they didn't make money? They made money. That's why the game looks so cheap. Because they made money. They knew they could just go lackluster and you would still buy it. And it's sad. It really is. So it's... So some of the video before the coin cut off by itself. Hopefully one day we can get a proper, accurate Naruto fighting game. You know, maybe be in the giant trees or something. Or maybe it, it'll be better than we already have and actually do something interesting with the gameplay. Because the story, we already know the story by this point. And it'll be fun to have a story mode and have all, you know, the quick time events and things like that. But I'm mainly just focused on the gameplay. Just mainly the 1v1. I don't really care too much about the whole online multiplayer. But I do like the idea of how far you can push the team-based element of the whole franchise if you were to do it correctly. And have the whole team system actually mean something. Actually give the characters the amount of jutsus or not. And so you, you don't need about 20 jutsus. But at least like more than like 4. At least 5, 6, maybe 7. That could be secret ones inside of combos or something. 
Instead of just the same old thing. Even a computer in this game know the basic formula to winning. Spam. And spam. Oh, but we don't have an ultimate for all the characters. Just call up Kishimoto. He's not writing board, so he gets some answers for you. Solve all your problems right there. And don't worry, guys. It's not weekly. It's monthly. So that there, there's no excuse for that one. And he's a writer, not the artist either. So that there, there's no excuse for the whole Boruto front. So. Uh, people still support this stuff. That, that's the only, that's, that's the only thing that disappoints me. That pe people think this stuff is good. People think this is a good product. People think this is is, is acceptable. Because even with some parts of the story mode just seem like luster. On which, what, what did you waste most of the gameplay development on this game was? Would it just to have a two player, uh, uh, a multiple round system which easily couldn't be intimated inside the game? Like, what did they work so long on? Besides from the cash in with, with Generations. Like, it was like Generations and there was some other game. What was that other game that came out after Generations? The whole in between game between. Yeah, the whole in between game that introduced the whole ultimate combos. Damn, what's that game called? I can't remember. But before Storm 4 was announced and came out. But, uh, it is what it is with that. It is what it is. Or you can do something extra with, uh, Mar uh Moderate's uh, Limbo. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen at all. It's not like anybody wanted, it, so it's, it's what's the point? Only I want this type of stuff. Only I care for this type of stuff. No, no one else. Everybody else is completely satisfied and happy with Storm 4 and Shinobi Strikers and Clash of Legends Revolutions. They're all completely satisfied with that being the best, most accurate representation of what we see on screen and what we read from the manga pages. Like seriously, could easily set up with, with uh, Sasuke's ultimate attack with this part. Oh, you just, oh, you just, you missing with all your fireballs. Am I? Am I the Korean? Kablam! <laughs> you gone, son. You gone. You thought I was just missing this entire time. Nope, it was tactical strategy. Strategy. It's all up here, sonny. It's all up here. And then with the whole, like, like. Now that monkey eight person the third Okage summons, that could just be like an AI dummy with have like a little health but can't stall you and mess up some of your combos, things like that. That actually attempts to fight back in some type of way. Well, could it just be an inter ir irritant? Unless you're on like extremely low health, it wouldn't be able to kill you. But uh all oh, the missed opportunity, it's just Naruto got all of this opportunity and it's just not there. It's just gone. Attacks can change the entire environment. Ultimate Jutsu can change the entire environment. Be able to resurrect your dead comrades in battle. It's just... Where did all the potential go? Where's the innovation? Where's the... Pushing to the limits like... The game community went mainstream. And like what anything that goes mainstream, which I've been saying for years. For years I've been saying this. For years. All the way back when I was in middle school. All the way back to like, what, knife and tip grab. I've been saying this. Anything that goes mainstream, it dies. Literally. It, it, it dies. Look what happened to anime. And that's a perfect example. Because uh, it's hard to feel bad for a bunch of animators who are releasing anime, like, by a buttload to the point where we have an anime season every year. Which it doesn't, like, justify their mistreatment or anything, or their low pay. But it's one of those things where it's just like, it's hard to feel bad when you got these studios dropping like 5 to 15 different ones in one single year. No, not one single year. Twice a year. Season 2, season 1s, and everything. So we're just like, hmm? What? It's, it's like, what? So, it is what it is with that. I doubt things will get any better because there's no way Epo game is going to show up, so... With a new Naruto game, I hope things get better just for the supposed community in itself. But what about the esports? I don't care about esports. Esports means nothing to me. Why? Because I'm just looking for a, a, a good game. I don't compare about your competitive atmosphere. I don't care about your extra ducats you, you can make by playing games professionally. Uh, there, there, there are games made for that. There, there are games that release with no stories that are made for that. So I don't mean no disrespect, but it is what it is. Like, you can't pull out a Gara Sans. And it, it, it's very sad. You have some fan favorite characters that just play like garbage in these games. 
there's no point of picking guard when you can't even do most of his moves or techniques or anything like that. Or maybe if you hold the the uh, the sand shower, you'd be able to control what the shower rain down to. Nope, nope, you can't do that. Nope, that's not going to happen. Nope, nope, no sir, Bob, that's not going to happen. No sand tsunami, no great sand barrier. There's no as I was saying, nope, there is uh, none of that. So it is what it is. It's been Mr. Chocolate King. Hopefully somebody will agree with my opinion and hopefully we get a proper Naruto game in the future because with Dragon Ball, I can just pull out Budokai Chiasi 3 and I'd be good. But for a lot of other things, other properties, especially with Naruto, there's no, there's no game where I can play like, oh yeah, this represents the gameplay 100%. Nope. Nope. None of that, so. Not at, at, at all. So, if you missed Shadow King, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And would you like to see a more accurate manga um, anime battle version of gameplay inside the Naruto games? Or are you just fun with the casual? I'm going to spam somebody's death games of Shinobi Strikers and the, the Storm. Because at least then, you'll be able to put some actual tactics in the ultimate jutsu of me or something instead of you spamming. If you were to tie it in with the substitution, so long with the whole ultimate jutsu spam. So long with that. And then you got characters like uh, Karen, who could literally give people chakra to save up for the ultimate jutsu and trap somebody. Or you could play the sound of four, trap somebody in the Great Barrier and just cook them in the middle. If the map is big enough and you're able to set it up without them, anybody else stopping you. Excellent, but it is what it is. It's been Mr. Chakra King. Like, comment, subscribe, and now. Peace.